let's look at how to take a string and encrypt it using ROT13. So first of all, I'm going to create a function that I'm going to use or a function declaration. So I've got my function is going to return a string and I'm going to call it ROT13 because it rotates each character by 13 positions. And I'm going to pass in a constant copy, so a fixed copy of the string. So here we go. I'm going to call this my text going in. And then I want my program to actually take a string, encrypt it, and then decrypt it. So let's start with this string. So I got my standard string, and we'll call this my message, message1. So this is the plain text version of the message. And I'm going to say this is just hello world. Nice and simple. And then I want to have a copy of it that is encrypted. So I'm going to have this one just be um, secret. And I will just have this be encrypted with the rot13. And I'll pass in the message1. And then I'm going to decrypt it because it, if you're rotating 13 places, you can rotate it twice and then decrypt it. So I'll just decrypt it as well. So my string message 2 is going to be equal to my rot 13 of my secret. So it decrypts it now. And then I just want to display these out so we can see what I've actually got. So first one is my message one and I'm going to pass it just the message one and how the line ended next I'm going to show you the secret message and let's make those line up correctly and end the line. And then I'm going to show this first message, except not message one. It'll be message two this time. So pass it message two and display it. So now all I need to do is just write my actual function. So I will write my function. I can copy this declaration up here and paste that right there and then turn it into an actual function. So eventually I'm going to want to return something. So I need to create my string returning. So I'll create the string first and string, we'll call this one encrypt. And we'll just make it an empty string just so it start off that way. And in the end I'm going to return it. So I'll return my encrypt. I could make the string the same length as the other string, but I'm going to go ahead and just add to the string each time to do a, a plus, I think. Now, the string coming in text has a certain length already. So I'm going to do a for loop to go over that string. So do for and i equals zero. i is less than the length, so text length and then the i plus plus now what does that do well the length is the number of characters so um, in hello world you can see there is five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen characters and this starts from character zero all up to character twelve and so this is going to loop from zero to twelve because it's going to go the i is less than thirteen so that's what I'm going to do is go over that entire string. And then I want to figure out how do I encrypt it? Well, let's do a little bit of if statement type stuff. So if my character is uppercase, then I'm going to pass this uppercase of my text I. So I'm going through each one. If it's uppercase, then I'm going to do something special. What do I do? Well, I figure out how to handle it. So I'm going to do encrypt plus equals plus 
equal. So I'm going to add um, one character to the end of this string. And so what I do, well, I take the text that I get. So I'm going to get this I character. And I want to first convert it down into something usable. So it's uppercase. So I'm going to subtract the uppercase A from it. So now an uppercase A will be turned into a zero. And that's fine. I'm going to add 13 to that number. And I'm going to take that number and I'm going to use modulus of 26. So if it were the Z, for example, you would subtract um, the A. So you get some smaller number um, of 25. We're going to add 13 to it and do mod 26. So loop it back around. And then we're going to add our capital A back. At this point, we can use that number. It's right in there. It's good to go. But if it's not uppercase, it might be a lowercase number. So it is lower. And we pass our text i. Then what are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is we want to encrypt it by doing basically the exact same thing, except this time we're going to subtract the lowercase a off of it. And we're going to add 13 and do the modular 26. And then we're going to add a lowercase a again so we can get back into the lowercase alphabet. If it's not either one of those, we could go ahead and just put the number in there. So just plus equal and then our text i. And that will just copy the number over or the letter over. We could also add in, if we were doing ROT 13.5, we could uh, do the same thing with um, digits. So if it's a digit, we just add five and loop it around. So here we go. So now we've got this all taken care of. We are ready to go. We can go ahead and save this and then run the program and see what happens. You can see that the message, message one, gets encrypted right here as the secret, and then it gets encrypted again, which actually decrypts it back to the original message. And so this shows you basically how to process a string and encrypt it with ROT13, which is really just looping over an array.